My name is Stu Mods and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to make your own custom dashboard in Xbox 360. You have to have an RGH and we're going to be using Freestyle Dash that you can customise the blades, you can customise the background and you can customise the actual front, they call it the stage but yeah this is this is what we're going to be doing today. So I've put a little download together, this includes a few of the Freestyle Dash renditions that I've come across over the years. Um, basically you got 775 which seems to be the one that most people have on their dashboard 780 is the release done by Nano which I do believe was part of the freestyle team or connected to them in some way because if I know they, they did have a um, blade within it called Nano so I think he is connected to them some way uh, we'll have to have a look that up actually and I'll, I'll make sure I give him credit at the end but anyway and then this one which is an unofficial one but they fixed the weather API key for a weather API V2 key I don't actually know much about that I don't really find it that interesting if I need to know the weather I look out the window anyway let's get back into this right so we've got the XZP tool and we're going to be doing 775 today because of that just seems to be the one that most people have on their desktop Okay, so we've got 775 and we've got that. So basically, we do not need the RAW folder anymore. So we're literally going to whack that down there. I will cover Aurora in a little bit and just the same principle as what we're doing. If you're a modder, you've got to do a little bit on your own. You know what I mean? You've got to, you've got to experiment a little bit. So, well, okay, chill out. Right, let's um, open these up then. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Freestyle Dash to start off with. Uh, we're going to go to Neighborhood and stuff and drop it over there as well in a bit. So you've got freestyle dash this is 775 I'm sure you've just probably got it at FSD in your folder somewhere and you've got your skins you got your default skin I'm gonna drag that up here uh, basically we don't need the rest of this because we're gonna just be dropping this over to freestyle dash in a bit so we've got the default skin now this is what would typically load when uh, in fact the easiest thing for me to do is show you what the default skins look like before we carry on so with the power of um, magical editing, but not bothered going to edit really, I'm just literally going to do, uh, let's go PVR. Right, with a little bit of luck, my PVR should start up and you should be able to see the Xbox. So whether it does or not is a different matter though. There we go. Okay, so you see these tabs here. You've got the blue and the orange and you've got all the different icons on over the top of them. They sort of flash when you go over it. You can edit everything within Freestyle Dash. It's all there for the taking. Um, see in the background you've got a blue, and then at the foreground you've got that orange. Um, basically the stage is the foreground, and the background is the blue. Um, I can tell you for a fact that the background is called Kinetic Blue. Um, what we'll do look, is if I fly back over to the old PC. Um, PC. Okay, all right, let's go back out of there. Okay, so you've literally just seen what they look like. These are what they're actually called, but I'm gonna show you how to get to these. So when you get this, it'll be a white folder. It'll say you cannot open this or find a program to open this. Um, I suggest what you do before you even try and open it, right click on it. You've got your XZP folder there. So right click on it, open with, and then you want to go to more apps all the way down to the bottom. Always use this app for doing XZP folders. Look through there, go to your desktop, find your XZP folder tools thing, there it is, click on that and open, boom. Now they will all be set up to open with this little tool. This little tool is just a little bit like WinRAR, it gives you access to everything. So, we've now got access to the skins folder, don't be too daunted by this, there's a lot of stuff that you're not going to be editing, alright? There's a massive load of stuff in this folder, you're going to be like, oh my god, look at all this content. Yeah, you can go through and you can mod every single bit of it if you like. We're not going to be doing that though, we're just leaving you want, you want, you want your own dashboard, that's what we're doing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to extract the whole thing, and what this is going to do look, is it's going to extract it from our default XZP, which is this little folder up here, and it's going to extract it to a desktop uh, folder called default XZP unpacked. So we're going to let that do its thing, and it is a, bit, a little bit of luck, it should, there he is, look, he just popped up. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to close this. So we now know that this is everything in this folder all packed into a nice little folder file right here. And this is where it starts getting a little bit less daunting because we've got a nice little file system going on and it's all good and happy days. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm just going to show you quickly that when you load Freestyle Dash, you get the splash screen with the Freestyle Dash logo as it's loading. You would edit this picture to change that. You literally put your own logo in there. When it loads, it will load your picture, not the Freestyle Dash picture. So literally, you could put your own logo in there, do whatever you want with that. I'm going to leave that as is because I've got massive respect for the people that have made this and I think they need their little bit of credit. So this is the picture you would edit just for that little logo at the start. When you load Freestyle Dash, you can edit that. Um, like I said, I use paint.net to edit a lot of this stuff. I also use Photoshop. You can use whatever photo editing software you want. This is a DDS file. So literally you will need something like paint.net. It's a free application, go out, get it. You, you can change the photo, do whatever you want with it. Um, right, now what I want to show you quickly now is how I know what the default background and stage are. Now if you go into XML folder, this is not for everyone, you don't have to bother with this. You can literally edit these things with Notepad++ or if you don't want to get into all of that, you can just have a quick look in a browser. This will open up in Windows, um, any browser. Most browsers will read an XML document, I'm pretty sure. This is what the internet's made of after all. But um, so this, what basically what this will do now is it will load up and it will show you the first thing at the top here. It will say, say background name, default skin, which is nice because we now know that that's the default skin. And it says this is what the image is for the default back skin, which is the blue one that I just showed you. So literally default backgrounds, wallpaper, kinetic blue wallpaper. So we know that's what it's called. That is what we're looking for to edit that back blue wallpaper. And that's what it's called, okay? So we've got that. And in this B, which is nice and handy, this will actually bring up, the, you've got the list A here where, where it will tell you the, the wallpaper. This B just happens to be the stages. So literally on this B, we can find out exactly what stage it is that we've got to edit. And there it is, that default skin, nice and happy. The images that we're looking for is images, background, stages, stage five. Okay, so we know we're looking for this one here, the kinetic blue and the stage five. Okay, that's nice and easy. Nice and easy, people. Literally two XML documents will tell you where to go. You can edit these, you can put your own in, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. If you want to get into modding this a little bit more, I'd be really happy for people to show me what they've come up with after I've got them hopefully a little bit inspired by this. So, we now know what wallpapers we're looking for and what foreground we're looking for, or sorry, stage we're looking for. But okay, so we know they're in images and we know they're, they're in backgrounds. Now, before I get into that, I'm gonna go into very quickly, and let me show you this quickly, the blades. Uh, let's close these douche and douche, go away. Right, we're gonna show you very quickly the uh, foreground for this. Um, basically what this is, is, is I want to show you how to get to the actual blades themselves, okay? So you've seen the, the blue and the orange mix together let, you know, all the way through there. You can change them individually as well for each section as well. So you can have different pictures for each one, which is pretty cool. But I want to just show you very quickly how I know where these come from and what they are. Because I know for a fact they are under FD, which stands for uh, Freestyle Dash, I'm assuming. And what I'm going to do, let's flip back to the PC and basically I'm going to show you in the interface you've got all, these, all this stuff in here which is brilliant but in contents in contents tab you've got your visualizations now in here you've got all of these visualizations that you can edit individually or whatever but if you want to just do the default one F3 freestyle dash 3 and go through your backgrounds there are those actual things that I just showed you you know you can edit each and every one of these so they're all different as well so you literally you can put in what is it, eight pro eight different pictures content background for multiple things and all sorts of things like it's crazy like you can put so much into this or you can put as little into it as what you want just change them all for the same picture it's up to you it is completely up to you you can do what you want with it so i've shown you how to change your depth your actual blades now we're going to get into the actual content itself which is 
the background and the foreground or the stage as they call it so um, we're gonna go out of this out of images and then we go into your backgrounds as we saw in the XML files that it's in backgrounds and you've got stages and you've got wallpapers this is it. I can't get much simpler than this really um, so you've got we're gonna go and do the, the wallpaper first and we've got the kinetic blue is what we're looking for which is obviously the blue that was in the background and there it is this is the picture that is in the background of the obviously it's got the um, the orange corona or whatever it is the the stage over the top of that so you can see that what I'm gonna do now very quickly is just show you this this over here is the same picture do that replace the file in there and now we've got a kinetic thing that says the SWAT logo. Look at that. How good is that? Okay. All right. We're going to go into stages. And now stage five, which is what we know, was the one that was editable. And literally, these are just pings. You can edit them in anything like uh, paint.net or um, Photoshop if you've got it. Or I think even Windows Paint, you can make a ping. You know what I mean? It is a very simple task to do. Or import some cool pictures, like you know what I mean. I've done a lot of lot of edits to this and enjoyed it. But what I've actually done here is I've just made a black screen, which is actually just an empty stage. So it's literally it's got nothing on it. So hopefully, when we replace that stage, it does look black. But let me just aim for it to prove it to you. As you can see, it's actually nothing on it at all. It's completely empty. There's nothing there at all. Uh, if I right click it and then open with, and we'll go for paint.net it should be a checkered screen to show that it's actually a blank page there you go cool so we've actually edited now the foreground the background and I've shown you how to change the actual blades themselves I'm not going to be editing the blades in this but you get the idea literally that's how you edit it it's a lot of a lot of work around but once you get into it it's easy to find those pictures and it's easy to get in there and once you've got it all happy and how you want it this is the best thing about XRPC tool you can literally start the tool up again and now as you can see we're already on the page and literally we can do that and we can build it it is that simple okay oh you must make a build directory okay um, build directory XFP. okay okay but as you can see we've just built this default XRP which is cool but when you open it you will find all the stuff has been put back together okay now this is everything you've just done but the bits we've edited as well which you saw me do it literally I just dragged them in because I pre-edited them there's no you, you watch me making pictures but you get the idea it's literally it's that simple it is that simple now with this default XRP it says unpacked on the end of it but that's okay because we can literally just go whoop. Um, what I am actually going to do is we're going to delete this one because this is the old one and we're going to make sure this says exactly what it should say which is just default delete boom there we go so now we've got our edited default folder and as you can see it's been edited right now so what we can do with this is rather than having all the stuff that we've got up here look we don't even need this anymore we can get rid of that I can go boom go away all right that's gone so we've got our new default edited skin for freestyle dash what I'm gonna literally do now is just open up the RGH open up the JTAG go over to HDMI HDMI HDD um, uh, in my applications and I've got the freestyle dash already set up over here ready to go and we'll literally go into skins and there's the default skin we're going to literally go over uh, this is our new one that we've just just literally modified and there's the old one you can see the difference in values but that's fine we go yes to all and with a bit of luck it should copy over it might not because freestyle dash is loaded but that's fine and what I will do once that has finished, okay, I'll just minimise that for a second. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to bring up the Xbox 
and what hopefully I should be able to do is start it and you should be able to see the new dashboard load that we've just done which is obviously remove the orange bottom we haven't changed the the blades but I've shown you how to do that and we have changed the background picture okay so when I reboot this and it should load the default skin that we've actually just changed in theory we should see our own stuff okay so we're gonna go back to the PVR or the Xbox uh, Xbox yeah that one there and we'll let that boot up a second and uh, like I said we've literally just transferred those files they've just gone across now nicely beautiful and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna restart freestyle dash okay just did double click the default XX this is what it looks like now as the default um, like I said we know what the defaults were because we checked them out we know what this the the blades are you've seen those pictures you can edit those pictures yourselves you can also go in and find in each of those you've also got your icons and all that sort of good stuff that you can edit yourselves so let's do the moment of quick testing and we're going to reboot this and hopefully with a little bit of luck our edit will have worked and we should have our own dashboard there we go as you can see I've changed the dashboard on here you can change everything else yourselves um, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial um, anything else you would like to know by all means drop me a message you know I'm always happy to help if you come stuck if not watch the video watch the video watch the video pause play pause play double check what you're doing and you should be good to go but there you go I've just shown you how to change your dashboard on FSD that goes for the blades that goes for even the avatar you can see right there it can all be changed everything can be changed I think you can even change the font it's that crazy it depends how far you want to go with it I hope that's enough to get you started anyway big love smudge out Peace.